Registering and logging into a website should be a breeze. So if you want the default login page of your website to look something like this, here's our guide to customizing your login and registration page. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. Plugins like Profile Builder, Ultimate Member, and User Registration are great for customizing the WordPress login and registration page. We'll use the User Registration plugin by WP Everest. Before we begin, make sure the registration function is enabled for your WordPress website. Head to the Settings tab in your WordPress dashboard. Under the General Settings, enable the Anyone Can Register option. And choose a default role for new users. Preferably, you should set it as subscriber. Then save the changes. Hover over the Plugins tab and click Add New. Then search for User Registration. Click Install. And activate it. We see a prompt to automatically add new user registration pages like Register and My Account. Click Install User Registration Pages. Two new pages have been added to our website. These will also appear in the menu. Our new registration page looks like this. And the login page follows a similar style. They're simple and straightforward, but we can easily change the fields and other settings. Look for the newly created User Registration tab in your WordPress dashboard. And click on Settings. Here, we can choose what happens after a visitor has registered. You can have visitors manually log in after registering. You can have them confirm their email before logging in. You can give them instant access to their account after registering. Or you can require an approval by you or a fellow admin before visitors are able to log in. Choose an option that makes sense for your website. Below, you can prevent WordPress dashboard access for certain user roles on your website. Check out our article in the description to learn more about managing user roles. With the next option, you can enable the hide and show password button. By default, visitors can't see the password for security purposes. However, you can add a button to let them see the password while typing. Below, you can manage other settings for the My Account section. Click Save Changes when you're done. Then switch to Login Options. In the first setting, you can choose from various looks for the login form. Below, you can enable or disable the Remember Me and Lost Password options, hide field labels, and enable Google reCAPTCHA. You can also redirect new users to the registration page from the login page. Head over to the registration page and copy its URL. Then paste it in this field. The settings page also lets you customize the labels, placeholders, and messages for the login page. These are called labels, these are referred to as placeholders, and messages pop up after certain actions. Let's save the changes. In the front-end messages section, you can choose the text for the various success and error messages visitors see while registering and logging in. Let's change the successful registration message here. When someone signs up, they'll see the new message. In the Integration tab, you can enter the Google reCAPTCHA details to enable reCAPTCHA on your login and registration pages to reduce spam accounts. You can read our article in the description to learn about the process of enabling reCAPTCHA on your website. In the Email section, we see that the plugin has created email notifications that users will receive. You can disable these emails here. Or you can edit them by clicking these buttons. Here, you can edit the email subject and body according to your preferences. Click Save Changes when you're done. In the Import Export section, you can import and export users and forms for your WordPress website. In the User Registration section, we can see our existing registration form which looks something like this. You can edit the existing form or make a new one from scratch. We'll start from scratch. Click Add New. Give a title to the form here to distinguish it from the others. 
Next, you'll see that the layout looks similar to a typical page builder with blocks on the left and a live preview area in the center. You can add a long list of fields like email, first name, website, secondary email, dropdown, checkbox, privacy policy, section title, profile picture, and even some WooCommerce billing address fields. Let's start by adding a username field. Drag this element and drop it wherever you need it. Then rearrange it by dragging it within the row block. Click on the field to edit its field options. We can add a label and description. And set a placeholder as well. We can make the field mandatory by selecting yes from this dropdown. We can also hide the label and add custom classes for further customization. Let's add the first name and last name blocks to our form as well by following the same process. Finally, we'll add a confirm password field as well. This looks like a long form, so let's condense it by splitting it into two columns. Using this button in the top right, you can select a layout for this row. Then rearrange the fields by dragging and placing them. We can also add a new row below the existing one, and add more elements to it like a drop-down questionnaire. Edit the fields label, and add the choices. When you're done, click Create Form. The form has been added to the User Registration tab. Now we need to activate it. So copy its shortcode. Then head over to the Pages tab. And click Edit under the Registration page. Delete the old shortcode and paste the new one. Then click Update. Our website's registration page has been updated and now looks like this. You can further customize and stylize the page by clicking Edit with Elementor. Here, you can customize the page with Elementor just like any other page by using the shortcode element. You can add spacers, use backgrounds, add graphics, and make a whole lot of other customizations. Check out our Elementor tutorial video in the description to learn more. Apart from this, the user registration plugin offers paid extensions to add more fields, enable social login, use style customizer, and many other features. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.